Late last week, Michael Bennett told our Justina Anderson that he'll be traded from the Eagles to the New England Patriots during an appearance at Princeton University. Bennett said he was very excited to join the Patriots, but in his meeting with the Patriots executives, he said he will continue to remain in the locker room during the playing of the national anthem. Stephen A. Is Bennett's anthem stance a big deal? No, it is not. Um, Eric Reed proved that because despite his support for Colin Kaepernick, his taking the knee, um, how volatile he was against Malcolm Jenkins with the whole Players Coalition thing on the field and beyond, mm -hmm. the reality is that barely anybody really talked about it with Eric Reed. The story with the national anthem and the kneeling strictly involves Colin Kaepernick. He's the poster child for it. He's the, he's the individual that is identified with it most strongly. And anybody else who takes the position uh, that he's taken has basically, for the most part, been ignored. I mean, we see them on camera. We recognize that they're taking the knee. But nobody really has had much to say about those other individuals. So Michael Bennett's stance, while appreciated, uh, and he should be applauded for being honest and upfront about where he stands, and being resolute with his position, I don't think anybody is going to really bother him about it. I don't think anybody's going to really uh, excoriate him in any way. The ire over the national anthem issue uh, has been aimed in the direction of Colin Kaepernick. Everybody else that's been associated with it has been virtually ignored, and that's why I don't think it's a big deal. That's exactly why it's a big deal. What you just said is because it's no big deal, right? That's a big deal. The NFL took my advice. I was saying from the beginning, this is how you handle this situation. Look, how did this whole thing arise with Kaepernick? He wasn't making it first a big public statement. He was a conscientious objector to rising for the national anthem and participating in the ceremony. The press got a hold of it and turned it into a big deal. Mm -hmm. And then it became a political football, so to speak, right? Um, and then I don't know if it was a big deal until the president. No, spoke it was out. already. We were already talking we about, talked it about it. We talked about it. I'm just talking and about then it. Really, it got really even really bigger as it right. became political, of course. Um, and I heard from a lot of people, and the, the counter argument was, why are we using an NFL ceremony honoring the flag? Why is th why does that become your moment to publicly protest? Well, my solution was, look, if the NFL doesn't want them to do that. How do you resolve this? On the one hand, to me, it becomes a bigger issue than just an NFL ceremony. It's a freedom of speech issue. Mm -hmm. Because if standing, if sitting for the flag or kneeling for the flag is a political statement, it's, or it's a, that means it's a form of speech, mm -hmm. then standing is also. It's, it's, it's either, right, then, it, then they both are. Right. And if standing is, and your employer is telling you in order to be employed here, you must parrot my political speech, I, that's not American to me. I don't, I don't think that flies. And... And it's, by the way, it's not in the rules of the NFL either. It's supposed to not be compulsory. It's supposed to be, um, um, uh, you know, up to the players. So how do you do this? How do you stop it from being a public demonstration, political statement, and also allow the players to follow their own conscience, right? You say, if you're on the field, you have to participate. Okay, that's fair. If you don't want to participate, stay in the tunnel. That was my suggestion from the beginning. And... By the way, it was criticized by some, but the fact is it works. If Michael Bennett doesn't feel right standing for the ceremony, we live in America still, right? He doesn't have to stand for the ceremony. But if he wants to be on the field, then you must participate in the ceremony. It's working. And the proof in the pudding is it's not a big deal. Well, listen, it's not a big deal for another reason that nobody has brought up. And that is why, and, 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 and this is the point that I don't believe has been made enough, guys. Kneeling for the national anthem, people try to act like that's the issue. No. The issue was why Colin Kaepernick was kneeling for the national anthem. The fact that he was brave and courageous and cogent enough to articulate his position as to why he was taking the knee for the national anthem, to bring attention uh, to oppression, uh, uh, racial inequality in this country and beyond. The reason why I bring that up Compare that to Marshawn Lynch, who on many, many occasions has not stood for the national anthem. A matter of fact, there was one time they had him on video sitting on a cooler, eating a banana during the national anthem. And no one said a word. Why didn't they? Because Marshawn Lynch never took the position 
of articulating why he was sitting and not standing for the national anthem, which may, which leads me to believe you didn't have a problem with Colin Kaepernick taking a knee for the national anthem. You had a problem with the reasons that uh, he expressed as to why he, I'm not talking about you, of course. Yeah, yeah. You had a problem, meaning the public. They had a problem with the reasons behind Colin Kaepernick taking the position I, that he takes, because if that's the case, you would have had a problem with Marshawn Lynch years ago that, when he sat for the national anthem. The fact anthem. that this breaks down along racial lines is has always been obvious. I mean, the numbers indicate that, the polling and stuff like that. But let, I, I disagree with one thing here. Colin Kaepernick was trying to bring attention. No, at first, it wasn't about attention. At first, it was conscientious objection. He felt he didn't want to participate in that ceremony so long as the degree of racial injustice as it relates in his view to police interactions with communities of color was ongoing. He felt he why couldn't can't stand up for why that. Why can't I agree with that and still acknowledge that he was still trying to seek attention? For well, it. well, the attention came to him. At but that you knew point, it was going to come to you if maybe, you did it on the field. Maybe, not but at others, that level. No, no, no. Not at, right. And then it, level, and then it became an issue with culture, you know, social justice warriors on the one hand, and eventually politicians for their own political ends on the other started bringing more attention to it. And at that point, you could say he was bringing attention to it. But it didn't start that way. I don't believe that Colin Kaepernick thought that he would be blackballed from the NFL because of it. But I also don't believe that he thought the camera would just stroll by, people would see him taking the knee, and no one would have a response. Because the fact of the matter is, is that if you're taking a position on an NFL field, the number one sport in our country right now, particularly from a ratings and eyeball standpoint, there is no way on earth you're taking that position on the field of play thinking that it would garner zero Did attention. Did Marshawn Lynch believe it was going to garner attention? I don't think he cared. Well, but, and, but, because, but, but again, we don't know because he's never spoken whatever, on right, it. You may, he he hasn't yeah, spoken even on if it. He made money off not speaking. Right. Even, yes. Exactly. Even if you're right about the intention, the fact of the matter is... The reason that I think you can defend the right to kneel, right? Like, hold I'm on, not, the I'm NFL not, I'm, can't I'm, make them stand. I'll defend is, the right to kneel to, right. for, to the end of the day. Yeah, but, absolutely. So, so the reason this solution is actually a fair one that the NFL, that, that, I, was, that I had suggested and the NFL has adopted, um, it works in that you cannot force people to participate in something that their conscience says, I don't want to participate in that. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, the NFL has a right to say, look, you can't use this ceremony mm -hmm. as, to make a, a, a certain kind of political statement at that moment. It, it's working. Bennett doesn't have to stand. The NFL gets to have their ceremony, and the games are going and on, it's and not, it's not garnering and, and, that much and, attention and it's even. it's not on the field, because whether we like it or not, the NFL is a private entity. Obviously, public funds contribute to, you, to, to their fluency, but the bottom line is, is that it's a private industry. It's on the field of play, and if you're going to do something on the field of play, counter to what they deem to be in the best interest of mm -hmm. their product, they have a right to make a move and make a decision. So Michael Bennett, we credit him and applaud him for, you know, taking the stance that he took. Yep. But he acquiesced to some degree because he certainly ain't talking about being out on the field doing it. Can't this. be out on the field. That's against the rules now, and the yeah. rules are fair at this point. Right. All right, we've got to get a commercial break in, but we've got a few other topics to hit after the break. Stay here. More First Take from NYC. Coming up, Miniana, it's Happy New Year in the NFL tomorrow. Which teams have made the most of free agency? Will Kyler Murray's Pro Day Wednesday affect his draft stock? And LeBron and the Lakers haven't won since February. Will they bounce back tonight against the Bulls? First Take, 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN.